So you have a mask, but are you wearing it correctly? Is there like a common mask wearing mistake that you see? Oh, you mean, here, show it to you. You mean this one? So that mask mistake should be fairly obvious, but Dr. Sarah Zimmer, associate professor in the U of M Medical School's Biomedical Sciences Department, says even when your nose is covered, your mask might not fit as well as it should. So that there's an actual seal so that most of the air is directed through the mask filtering capacity, which is really what we're after. Here's why that seal is important. A study published by the American Chemical Society found homemade masks made out of a combination of high thread cotton and silk blocked 98% of big droplets and 94% of smaller ones. But if that same mask had gaps on the side, the study found it blocked only about 35% of all particles. An easy way to tell if your mask fits, how easily you can breathe. This bottom band wasn't tight enough so that all kinds of air was actually coming out the bottom. And it felt great. I was like, oh, I can wear this mask. But then I realized I need to pull that tighter. Now it's effective. Dr. Zimmer says most masks are probably going to have to be modified to fit correctly, whether that means tightening the bands or even using double sided tape to close a gap. Nothing is going to make it perfect, but everything is going to help. And that's what we're after right now. Jennifer Austin, CARE 11 News. And apparently thread count also matters. Dr. Zimmer said if you hold a mask up to the light and can see the light particles shining through, well, the material simply isn't thick enough. 